Josh, how you doing? You want lunch? Did you get the PDF? You hear me now? You want lunch, huh? All right, if you got the PDFs, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to work on the three ostinato patterns that I sent. Then we're going to start an approach that's pretty simple. First off, we're in 3-4. Three, 3-4 four. Three, four meaning three beats to a measure. Each quarter note receives one count or one beat. So my count is one, two, three. One, two, three. Now, the ostinato is going to exist on the bottom. The bass drum is going to be on the count of one. The hi-hat is going to be on the count of two. And on the count of three, there's no bottom. So what we're going to have is this. Okay, so with that being said, I gave the first line in quarter notes. We're going to play quarter notes on the uh, snare drum, alternating the strokes like so. One, two, three. One, two, three. So while I'm doing that, it's going to be one, two, three. 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 Now, that's going a little bit ahead of it. What you want to do is do a dotted half note on the first note. So I'd have, for example, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Or now you could shift that, rest on the one on top. One, hit two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Or one, two, three. One, two, three. The object is to feel it. One, two, three, one. And if, the way I feel to teach it is, I mean, the way I want to teach it is to give you the quarter notes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. 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 Then we go to eighth notes. One and two and three and one. One, two, three, one and two and three and one. Two, three, one, two, three, one and two and three and one. One and two and three and one, two, three. One and two and three and one and two and three. Now I have the uh, switcher on. Can you hear me? And could you hear the drums? Rush. Knock, knock. Rush, can you hear the drums? You can hear the drums and you can hear me talking at the same time. I have the this, this switcher on. The voice mic is on. So I should be picking it up with the voice mic. I'm going to take the voice mic off. And I'm just going to play a little bit. I'm going to use quarter notes, eighth notes, eighth note triplets, sixteenths, or groupings of sixths, or wh whatever. I'm going to play for a little bit. Watch.
Now, I just mixed it up a little bit uh, to give you some ideas. First, what we're going to do, we did the, the uh, quarter notes, we did the eighth notes. Now, let's do the triplets. All right, here we go with the triplets. One and the two and the three and the one and the two and the three and the one. Yes, both sounds better. Switch for the U. All right, okay. Then I'll leave it on, okay? I'm doing eighth note triplets. The count for eighth note triplets, because I'm on three now, is going to go one and the two and the three and the one and the two and the three and the one. So now, I have the bottom going. One, two, three. One and the two and the three and the one and the two and the three. faster. Two, three. Quarter notes. Little mixture. Roll. Harry diddle diddle. Get the drift. Okay, so now that's quarter notes, eighth notes, and triplets. Now we're going to go to sixteenths. We're going to count one e and the two e and the three e and the one e and the two e and the three e and the. It's a lot of notes into three four, so you got to sort of slow the tempo down somewhat. So you're going to have one e and the two three. So on and so forth. How you doing, Mike? Where were you last night? I gave you email. You had an email and all of the PDFs. The reason why we're on YouTube for the last two days, my site is being worked on. We're trying, I'm trying to upload videos. There seems to be a few issues that we have to resolve, and we're resolving them by the end of the day. But I sent you the email. I sent you the two uh, sites. You have the PDFs, correct, Mr. Mike? And then on the, on the PDF, on, on the email, didn't it tell you we're going to be at YouTube today, 1 p.m. and 8.30? Okay, anyway, let's get, what we're doing is we're working with an ostinato pattern. We're, you're not late. Uh, we have the ostinato, 3-4 ostinato. 3-4 means... One, two, three. Three beats to a measure. Each quarter note receives one count or one beat. So, sometime in the future, maybe in a week or two, I'm going to send some reading sheets in three, four. And we're going to develop phrasing and reading and coordination in the same, the same way. We're going to play the ostinato pattern we're going to read the chart, and the chart will be phrased. Now, by phrasing, here's what I mean. I mean, I'm just randomly, when I'm playing, I'm randomly playing what I want to play right now. One, two, three, one.
So I just fooling around a little bit. I gave you the PDF. The first one is quarter notes. You're maintaining the bottom pattern. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. That continues. That doesn't stop. That's the ostinato. So now we have the quarter notes. Now I'm locking that into quarter notes just on the snare. One, two, three. One. If I could play like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. The next one, and notice it's still going. <coughs> the next guy is eighth notes. I put you guys on a snare drum again. Get the feel. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one. But now you can move it around. One, two, three, one and two and three and one and two. One, two, three, one, two, three. You getting it, Mike? You getting it, Ross? <clears throat> Any questions on it so far to this point? Any questions? All right, you got it. You have fun. Be creative. Like I said, I'm locking you in on the snare drum. So now, what we did was the quarter notes and the eighth notes. Okay, so now, we're going from the quarter note eighth note to the eighth note triplet. We're still in three. That's going to remain the same. And what we count, we're going to play, we're going to count the eighth note triplet as one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, while the bottom is going on. One, two, three, one. One and a two and a three and a one. Do it one hand. So here's what you want to do. You have the quarter notes, the eighth notes, and the eighth note triplets. Let's just stay with those three for now. I'm going to play quarter notes, then I'm going to play eighth notes, and I'm going to play eighth note triplets, so I'm going to go back to quarter notes. I'm not going to mix it up. If I start with quarter notes, I'm going to stay with quarter notes. If I play the eighth notes, I'm going to stay with the eighth notes, okay? Here we go. One. One. One, two, three, one. Triplet. Eighth notes, back and forth between the drums. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. Triplets. Be creative. I'm like, like I said, just on the first uh, three lines, quarter notes, eighth notes, eighth note triplets. Now, be creative and say, all right, let me do the triplets um, three strokes in each hand. One and a, two and a, three and a, or triplet fill-ins. That's one and a, two and a, three and a. give you some ideas. Got it, guys. Okay, 16th notes. You can play options. I laid it out as singles. 1 E and the 2 E and the 3 E and the E and the 2 E and the 3 E and the. 
bass drum hi-hat. Now, that's singles. I can play it as paradiddles or doubles. I'm going to play the paradiddles first. I'm going to take the snares off. Is that better? <laughs> and then doubles. And you can mix them up. Now that's uh, quarter notes, eighth notes, Eighth note triplets and sixteenths. Now the next two guys is pretty difficult. You need to be in tune to the groupings of five to the quarter note and the groupings of six to the quarter note. Now I'm going to demonstrate the the fives, the grouping of five, they're called quintuplets, to the quarter note. If I'm playing one, two, I'm going to play the four at first so you get the feel. I'm going to play one, two, three, four. So for every count, I have to have five strokes equal distant between the next downbeat. Like one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Now, putting the ostinato pattern, one, two, three, four, five, one. That's not it. I'm sorry. sorry. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one. It's not easy. That's a difficult one. So you might want to take it slower. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You get that? And then now you have the sixes, which is going to be now it's a sextuplet. That means you got to get six strokes in between the downbeat. So I count that, I subdivide the count. Instead of me going one, two, three, four, five, six, remember the table of time. One and two and three and one and two and three and four. Here we go again. So those two are going to take some time. All right, I'd like to move on. If we, I'm just surfacely introducing you to the ostinato pattern. Just practice quarter notes, eighth notes, eighth note triplets, sixteenths, and if you, uh, you might have to take a different tempo on the fives and a different tempo on the sixes. So what? You get it going. You, you equalize everything. So I'm going to move on to the next ostinato. And by the way, where I got that ostinato from was uh, one of my, my heroes, Max Roach. Way, way back, he did a tune called The Drums Also Waltz. And there, there you're hearing play some of the stuff I just did, but a, tremendous, a whole lot better. And he phrases beautifully. So I did a video way back, a couple years back, uh, the Matt Also Waltzes. So... You know, just trying to give uh, respect to Max Roach. And uh, we're going to definitely get into phrasing in the future. Just right now, play the ostinato pattern on the bottom. Play quarter notes for a while. Play eighth notes for a while. Eighth note triplets, sixteenths, so on and so forth. And, and say you're doing the sixteenths. Put a timer on and a metronome on and do that for two or three minutes. And then go back to quarter notes. Do that for two or three minutes. But be creative. Move the quarter notes around the drum set without breaking the tempo. Now, the next uh, ostinato is going to be in 6-8. And I robbed it. Not robbed it, but, I mean, nobody really owns it. But uh, Perry Bozio inspired me to, to do this. He does it somewhat different. He plays his hi-hats in 6-8, 
He plays his hi-hat on one, two, three, four, five, six. He plays the bass drum on one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Now, there's a lot of subdivision going on eventually. What we're going to play, we're just going to play the bass drum on the count of one, the hi-hat on the count of two, the bass drum on the count of three, then the bass drum again on the count of four, the hi-hat on the count of five, and the bass drum on the count of six. So I'm counting six beats to the measure, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the bass drum and the hi-hat are going constant. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. You go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're going to play exactly 16th notes. And the 16th and 6th are counted. One and two and three and four and five and six and one, two, three, four. You go. Triplets, that's pretty fast. Sixteenth is out there. Ah, one, two, sorry. Good endurance exercise. Let me slow it down. One. fun you could have with that. Now that, you have the 6-8 book, and one day next week we'll take a page, I'll warn you what page we're going to do, and obviously whatever page we're going to do, you should be able to read that on one surface in 6-8, and then we're going to apply it to the drum set, <coughs> and then we're going to phrase it, use some phrasing, and utilize it around the drums. Now, this next idea came uh, from the 3-4 the, the and the 6-8, and it's in 5-4, and it's, again, my, the guy who I really worshipped a whole lot was Joe Morello, and he put himself on the map of Brubeck with take 5. In addition to that, tremendous technique. So I combined 3 and, and two, which gives me five. So I took one of the ostinatos, and I made it one, two, three. That's the, the ostinato we just did, part of it. And I go, we're gonna do the same thing again, but I'm gonna leave a note off, four, five. So here's it, nice and easy. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, these are not easy. You need to spend a lot of time, one at a time. But they're all kind of related, and they get a little confusing because you really need to focus. I'm going to ask again now, is there any questions from this point on? Want me to go backward a little bit and review something you're not too sure of? Yes, no. Now, as soon as we complete the lesson, I need to get out to the phone to California because that's where my tech is. And there's a three hour difference. So it's actually only uh, 1030 right now. So I figured by 11, 1130, I can call him.
Now, do we have any questions from this point on? Please, before I go any further. Ross, Mike, and whoever else is in here? Whoever is in here is not a member of my site. If you would like the PDFs, I'll put my email in here. Email me, I'll send you the PDFs. Number four, again, which is that one? That's, uh, on what ostinato? You have three ostinatos. When I say four, you have the f on the first ostinato, the second ostinato, or the third ostinato. Which one, Mike? The third ostinato. I, I don't have the page. The page three would be the five, four ostinato. Is that what we're talking about? The 5 4 ostinato. First of all, 5 4, you have to understand the time signature. Ostinato development 1000. Is it a 5 4 ostinato? Well, I did three ostinatos. You want the third one, 5 4. Oh, the one in 6 8. Okay. 6 8 means six beats to a measure. Each eighth note receives one count to one beat. If you look at the first page, I, I uh, gave you a key. You have a bass drum, a hi-hat, and a snare drum. Now, if you go to the, to the ostinato, the 6-8 ostinato, the count is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, look at the first one of the 6-8. And look at the bass drum part and the hi-hat part. The bass drum part is one in the hi-hat, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now that does get confusing if you're not used to it. Everybody's used to playing boom, ka, boom, boom, ka, ka. Or the bass drum, one, two, three, four, five, six. So here you're doing six, eight. One, two, three. On the count of one, you have the bass drum. One. On the count of two, the hi-hat. <coughs> on the count of three, the bass drum. Count of four, bass drum. Count of five, hi-hat. Count of six, bass drum. So you get a nice tempo that you have control over. One, two, three. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll do it a little faster and I'll count a little uh, count it up tempo. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. All right, now we're going to add the top. That's the bottom, and that remains the same. On the first line of the six, eight, all you're doing is alternating strokes. You could do a lot more with it, but first you want to be able to alternate the strokes. One, two, three, four. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now while you're doing that, the bass drum and hi-hat have got to be going on. I'll slow it down. Do you understand that so far, Michael? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, you don't want to try to play it fast, you want to control it. Play it for a long period of time. 
And before you know it, you'll be playing it like this. That's the first line. The second, that's eighth notes in 6-8. Six, six beats to a measure, each eighth note receives <clears throat> the count or the beat. Now, you go over to the second line. What's going on with the screen now? There you go. The second line, you have 16th notes, but now you're in 6-8. So usually, you know, everybody's playing in four, goes one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the. We're not going to do that with 6-8. Each eighth note receives the count or beat. So you have 16th. You need two 16th to give me the eighth. One and two, <coughs> three and four and five and six and one and two, three and four and five and six and. So I'm going to play the bottom and then I'm going to play that on top. One, two, three, four, five, six. One and two and three and four. Six and one and two and three and four and five and six. And okay, you got that? Don't go any further than that, Mike. You might want to maybe hit the triplets for every, every bass drum and hi-hat part is a triplet. One and the two and the three and the four and the five. Any more questions before I wrap it up? We'll be back on this channel, okay, tonight. Let me see, hold on. Hmm. All right. We'll be back on this channel tonight, 8.30. And, Mike, if you have any problems, give me a holler. Ross, you still here? You're welcome. I'll see you tonight, Mike. Thanks, Ross. We'll see you tonight. We're going to expand on this if we can get to here tonight. <coughs> we're going to add to it, give you some ideas, and then one day next week or the week after, we'll do some reading. Okay, gentlemen? So have a good day, and 